Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the OneMix 3 Yoga, which is a small laptop-style computer. You can see just how small it is. It has an 8.4-inch display. It's a convertible tablet-style device that you can use uh, with a touchscreen, with a pen, or with a keyboard. And it's a pretty nice little device that I've just started uh, testing recently. And in my initial video, one of the top questions that people asked was, can you run Linux on it? And the answer is yes. If you go to lilliputing.com, you'll find some details. Uh, it's not a perfect experience. There are certain things that aren't necessarily working out of the box, but since people seem to want a video, I'm gonna do a video. So I've got Ubuntu 19.04 uh, on this flash drive, and let's go ahead and reboot, and I'll show you how you can switch uh, to booting from a different operating system and then what happens when you do that with Ubuntu. Uh, of course, there are different Linux-based operating systems that you can try. This is just sort of an initial look at uh, one option. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button and sort of smash the delete key so that I can get into the settings here. Now, the first thing you'll notice here is that the settings are sideways. So uh, what we have here is system information, Security, uh, as far as I can tell, there is no way to, I don't know, I guess I can enable or disable secure boot. And what I can do also is go over to boot here and change quiet boot is enabled or disabled, fast boot is enabled or disabled. And I can also go into the windows, uh, the boot priority options. So what I'm gonna do is say that number one it should boot from the USB flash drive that I plugged in. So let's go ahead and save and exit. And almost immediately you'll see that we've got, again, sideways here, the uh, Grub boot menu. First option is uh, try Ubuntu without installing it, so we're gonna do that. You could just go ahead and install it straight to the uh, internal storage if that's what you wanted to do. That's Probably not the best idea, and you'll see why in a, in a moment once we get the operating system running here. A quick refresher, this machine has a 2560 by uh, 1600 pixel display, an Intel Core M3 8100Y processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. It doesn't have room for a full-size touchpad, so instead we have this optical touch uh, sensor here. Micro HDMI, headset, USB type C, USB type A, and a micro SD card slot, and an upside down um, operating system. So I'm gonna open in the terminal window here and type xrander hyphen O left and that'll flip things over. Uh, if you install the operating system, you shouldn't have to do this every time you boot, but on first boot, you're gonna need to do something to flip the uh, the screen around, and that seems to work just fine here. Uh, it's X-R-A-N-D-R -R space hyphen zero, uh, O, letter O, space left, and I'll put that in the description below, and you can also go to lilliputing.com for instructions. Once here, uh, then you might wanna go ahead and connect to the internet, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to select network, connect, and type in my password. And now we're online. So basically, most of those things that you would expect to work, work. What doesn't work is touch. I can't seem to navigate at all doing that and the pen also does not work. So if you wanna plug in a mouse or if you just wanna use the optical touch sensor, you're not gonna to have too many problems. And once you do get things loaded here, you can go to youtube.com slash lilliputing or any other site. You can play video, you should be able to play games, you should be able to install applications. So you can basically run uh, applications here and I'm just gonna go ahead and play a video so you can see that we've got support for that. Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the using it to do things like watch videos, do a little web surfing. That voice sounds familiar, there's a good reason for that. But I just wanted to show that video playback works 
uh, Wi-Fi works. It's just touch and pen input that don't necessarily seem to work. Uh, also, I think screen rotation is uh, a little funny. Not entirely sure what just happened here. Screen just turned off, turned back on. Now it seems to be off. So it's flipping. Um, I can do X render O left again. So there's something a little funny going on in terms of screen rotation. Okay. It does rotate, but it goes blank when it does that, and it seems to want to default to the wrong one. So again, I haven't installed this uh, to the, the drive, so I'm not sure exactly what would happen if I were to install it. Uh, normally, you don't necessarily need to input these commands repeatedly, but in this case, maybe you do. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and in terms of the touch support, it might be something that you could work out by, um, by uh, doing some software tweaks that I am unaware of. So this is just the out-of-the-box experience of Ubuntu 19.10 that I'm looking at here. Um, something else that I should point out is that, you know, Firefox web browser works okay. You can install third-party applications without any problems. The software store works just fine. Uh, you've got support for LibreOffice and other software that runs on Ubuntu. The keyboard seems to work, as do brightness and volume and other keyboard shortcuts. Uh, so for the most part, it does exactly what you would expect it to. Uh, let's see the fan control. Even the fan control button seems to work. So uh, it's really just a question of the touchscreen not working. Uh, so this device is, again, uh, if you missed my earlier videos, it's available, uh, or if you haven't visited littlepuking.com, you can find out that it is available from geekbuying.com for about $760 and up. It's up for pre-order. Uh, this version has the Core M3 uh, processor. It's also available with up to a Core i7-8500Y processor, up to 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. Uh, the prices definitely go up if you start to add uh, additional options to it, though. So I think at 760 it's already sort of a stretch for a device that I think is probably going to be a secondary device rather than the primary device. But in terms of the keyboard, the versatility, the ability to use it as both a tablet and a um, and as a laptop, the fact that it's got uh, touchscreen support, at least when you're running Windows, weighs about a pound and a half, it makes it a pretty nifty portable machine. Uh, so I, I rather like this, and I'm going to have more details coming up in future videos and uh, more information at lilliputing.com. But I just wanted to show that this is the out-of-the-box experience running Ubuntu 19.04. Uh, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and um, I'm going to go back in and... Uh, switch the boot order. There's one wonky thing. It sort of takes a moment of pressing and holding the power button. I'm going to go back in and change the boot order so that next time I'll boot from internal storage. I failed to do that one time and uh, got a recovery error and sort of had to reinstall Windows, which uh, it was able to do because it did have Windows installed uh, in a recovery partition. But just to be on the safe side, let's go ahead and say that we want to go back to the Windows boot manager first, save and exit and this time it should boot straight to Windows. Uh, so again, Brad Linder, Lilliputing, One Mix, Three Yoga. You can find more details at lilliputing.com. It's available for uh, purchase from Geek Buying. It's, uh, it, as of late June, it's available for pre-order, should soon ship, and the uh, One Mix 3S Yoga with more memory and storage uh, options and support for a faster processor is also going to uh, going to sip ships relatively soon, a little bit later than the entry-level model. Uh, one thing, and this happens pretty frequently on devices like this, is if you, uh, unless you make some changes, it's being a little funny with the pen support right now, unless you make some changes um, to the way that Windows detects time, uh, booting into Ubuntu is going to change the time. So instead of uh, 406, uh, it, or instead of 506, it now says 906 because I switched operating systems. Um, so I just need to go ahead and change the date and time again. But you can see here that in Windows, the touchscreen is supported, and so is the pen.
And that's about the extent of my drawing ability.